show you guys our Airbnb door here you come in here is the bathroom nice stand-up shower come out here to the living space we got a couch little bookshelf I love the detail in this lamp can you be any louder <laughs> a view of the street kitchen our host just came by and told us of all of these great places to go and get food and drinks and must-see places to visit. Got a fridge, laundry. Let's now go upstairs. Oh, I see a man contemplating. May I interest you in a comfortable accommodation? Love the beams. Overlooks the whole space. They're nice. Very nice indeed. Wow. That was beautiful. Incredible. You can't capture it mm -hmm. in film. Like you have to see it in real life. Like it's insane. Absolutely insane. People made this, that's crazy. We'll be climbing that dome tomorrow. Lots of people here to see a statue. Tickets acquired, it's bananas out here. What did you think of David? I thought it was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. But what? definitely the coolest piece of art I've ever seen in my life. Probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. What are we about to do right now? I'm gonna go to the Medici Palace. So there's balls up there. Those balls are Medici crest. Oh. And behind the fence over there, you can see the uh, the uh, the plebes. I didn't want to pay the 10 euros to enter the museum. <laughs> so as, you, as we walk by, you look down upon them.
So this was the Medici house, pretty much, you know, built by Cosimo, the first big one that came to power. So the Medici family lived here until late 15th century. Yeah, late 15th century when uh, I think like Lorenzo's son got exiled, Piero, 1494. I looked that up, but I had a rough remembrance of the history, but I wanted to make sure that was right. So we just showed you guys the Medici house. There is a dramatization about the family if you're interested. It's on Netflix. The show is obviously based on history. It's not 100% accurate. Um, but what we are about to talk about is a spoiler alert for the show because it is a really important event um, that is a true event. So just FYI, if you don't want to know what happens, uh, skip ahead a minute. This is where the Posse conspirators were flung from the windows and hung after their assassination of Giuliano de' Medici and the attempted assassination of Lorenzo de' Medici. And if, the name of this building is called the uh, Palazzo, I'm gonna probably pronounce it wrong, but I think Vecchio, V-E-C-C-H-I-O. Giuliano was assassinated in the, uh, the cathedral that we're gonna go to tomorrow, the Duomo. Not much longer, they captured the uh, assailants, one of which was Francesco Pazzi, and his uncle, Sean Bean. <laughs> Sean Bean Potsy. And uh, yeah, tossed him out that window right there, those windows. There's a miniature replica David over there too. Oh yeah, look at that. I was totally zooming in on the wrong one. It's this one. This is the one that looks like David. Right here. Right here, this guy, right here. Biggest names in human history of art. Got Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Splinter. I wish we had more time and money to see everything. We need at least two weeks in this city. Yeah, there's just so much. We finished all our tours for the day, so we're just wandering around at this point. We're gonna head over to the water and then get some dinner. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Galileo, Galileo. It is 7.30, we are on our way to, to, to it's 7.30, I'm so tired. <laughs> We're on our way <laughs> to climb to the top of the Dormo, Dormo? Duomo. Duomo. Um, we gotta go pick up our tickets though, the directions are kind of confusing. 
Yeah, get your guide or is hit or miss. So they're saying we gotta get our tickets first before we can meet the guide. Yeah, the office isn't open till nine though, so that's a bit confusing because our admiss admittance is what time? Eight something. Eight fifteen. So don't know how that works. It's a beautiful morning. Liking this breeze. It's nice and cool right now. Tickets acquired, but apparently we already had them because she emailed them to us. But it was great that uh, the person in charge of giving out the tickets, she came early because she knew people were uh, coming early. Pre dome walk. 463 steps. <laughs> Insert Miley Cyrus's The Climb. This is the last bit. Let's go. We did it. We did it. Actually, it wasn't that bad. But if you have vertigo, you probably you shouldn't do it. You probably don't want to do it because it's a lot of this and you definitely if possible want to be in the top 10 people there yeah they pack like 100 they people. pack a bunch of people up there so try and get in line early get the early slot in the morning so you beat the heat because it was nice and cool up there so the cathedral doesn't open till 10 15 it's like nine nine something right now nine nine ten, nine, ten. so we're gonna go get some breakfast Well, we just had a yummy breakfast and we ran into a family that is also from California, from the same area of California, literally five to ten minutes away <laughs> from where we're from. Can't so. escape. <laughs> Come all the way to Florence and can't can't escape the Orange County residents. Yeah. Alright, so we are now headed back to the cathedral. We're gonna go on the inside now and hopefully check out the crypt. A fellow vlogger. now 1 p.m. we freshened up 
changed outfits, and now we're gonna go get some lunch. Jeff's got our to-go pizzas. For a wine tasting tour. So before we got these pizzas, we were actually at another restaurant because we we're looking at the menu and it looks super cheap. And then we sat down and it was like a, a three course thing. I mean, it was a good deal. It's like 20 euros for a three course thing, including wine. We just didn't have time to commit to it. I mean, it's just a culture thing, right? There's no place that you can just sit down for 30 minutes to eat. You have to commit to two hours to eating everywhere. Yeah, or you get like a sandwich, you know, and you don't have anywhere to sit down. We just want somewhere to sit down real quick and gobble something to eat. That's not a complaint. That's not a complaint, no. It's just like, you have to plan two hours. Yeah, you gotta plan, really plan for your meal time. Because meal time is sacred here. Anywho, we're here at the bus station area looking for our shuttle for our wine tour. We made it, now we can eat our pizza. So the organization for this tour is a bit unorganized because there isn't someone with a little flag from Get Your Guide, like all the other Get Your Guide tours that we've gone on. So Jeff had to dig through our reservation email to find what company was in charge of this tour. Because they contract the third parties. So you have to figure out, okay, well, who's the third party that was contracted to do this? And then you have to go track them down, you know? So it's, yeah. it's kind of a fiasco. You get yeah. what you pay for, right? Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay, they're, they're, they're good. They give us a little thing. Okay, I have to go ahead and grab one. Smell better. It just, I mean, it just smells like wine. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. In between dry and sweet, it's like right in that kind of in between. As a person who doesn't like red wine, this is actually not that bad. I Thank you. 